Fold Gallery is also participating in Red this month along with Downtown LA Art Walk and it's located above the Last Bookstore and I'm here with the gallery owner Jenna. Hi Jenna. Hi Ashley. So can you tell us a little bit about your gallery? Fold has been open for about a year and a half and uh, every month we have a different artist that participates. The inside of the gallery we sell vintage. We're part of the Spring Arts Collective. The Spring Arts Collective is five different galleries that come together above the last bookstore. And how long have you been participating with Downtown LA Art Walk? Since I moved into the building about seven years ago, I worked with Michelle Burke of Create Fixate, and we originally, I did shows here as an artist. And then after that, um, participated in art walks throughout those seven years until I got the store about a year and a half ago. And um, then it's just been, you know, then I get to now to show different artists, which is all very exciting. The featured artist this month is John Measures. He is, um, he's a mid-career artist. He is an abstract artist, and his use of color is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'd like to introduce you to him, if I could. Okay, let's take a look. Right. I'm here with Fold Gallery's February's featured artist, John Measures. Hey. Hi, so can you tell us about your artwork? Sure. So um, in this set of work, I'm working with sort of similar themes that I usually work with, which is urban landscapes and uh, exploring the city. Most of the work is based off of the city of LA. In this particular set of work, I'm really interested in kind of exploring the idea of integrating the photographic images with hard edge abstraction. So can you tell us about your red piece? Okay, the red piece is a uh, a piece that I worked on as a smaller piece and it's a color that I don't use like a lot in big areas. Uh, usually I use red because it's such a powerful color. I usually use it as sort of an accent here and there as a way to point you, which is pretty traditional in painting, as a way to sort of point you or draw your attention. Uh, but with that particular piece, it's a very kind of strong, vibrant piece. You can find John Measure's work here at the Fold Gallery, which is located above the last bookstore and come check it out during Downtown LA Art Walk, which is the second Thursday of each month. Yeah, come and see it. Another gallery participating in Red this month, along with Downtown LA Art Walk, is the Andrea Bogdan Gallery. And I'm here with the artist and gallery owner, Andrea. Hi, Ashley. Hi, how are you doing? Good, I'm glad you came in today. Thank you for having us. So can you tell us a little bit about your workspace? Sure, this is where I do my work and it's also the space that I open up for Art Walk every second Thursday of the month and it gives me an opportunity to talk to people about the art and about their art because a lot of artists come in here too. And um, pretty much most of the art you see in here is, was all done in this space. Make sure you come up and check out her artwork, purchase some art and interact with the artist herself. Another gallery participating in Red this month along with Downtown LA Art Walk is the Liz Houston Studio Shop. And I'm here with the owner and artist, Liz Houston. Hello. Hi. So can you tell us about your red design or red piece this month? My red piece, my red piece came to me, this red dress came to me in just in my ideas when I fish for ideas. And she was just this powerhouse of creativity and love and creation. And so I just ran with it and I went with this dress and the piece just evolved into this really um, loving piece about this union between these two magical people. So what's it like participating with Downtown LA Art Walk? It's fabulous being a part of Art Walk. It actually pushes me every month to come up with something new and exciting because I know that there's going to be so many people here hungry for art. So it really in inspires me to create more. Thank you. Thank you. And make sure you come check out her gallery space and her art during Art Walk, which is the second Thursday of each month, and she's located above the last bookstore.